Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today we are doing Terraria Xbox One Edition. So, you might not have saw this before, but it is indeed a trap in my jungle biome. So he's been took over by the corruption at the minute. Uh, it's pretty bad, but we managed to get another one of these bee, um, bee things, tattered bee wings. And we managed to get quite a few things from this. So we've got the tad bee wings, and I've got an Uzi, which I reforged to Unreal. So I've got an Unreal Uzi, and that's going to be a really good help. I got it off the trappers. They're really, really cool. Uh, we've got some jungle key molds. I've got three on me. And we've got the butterfly dust, because every now and again, moths come out of nowhere. And the moths, they do it. The only problem with this trap is that when slimings come down, the little slimings get trapped underneath. But overall, it is a really, really great trap. And it will defeat anything with ease, really. Uh, not a lot of diggers come through or things like that. So it's really effective. And literally all it is, is the trap that we did smaller at spawn. The one that I copied from Happy Days. He has a really cool trap. Uh, we're going to go back home now. I'll show you the smaller version of it. And... I'm going to light the area up, but the only reason that's not lighted up is so more mobs spawn. Obviously, I've got water candles around it so that more mobs spawn. So here's a smaller version of it. A lot smaller version of it. It took ages to do the one in the jungle biome because obviously I was getting attacked by everything. The amount of deaths was unbelievable. But I left it on for about two, three hours and I managed to get myself one platinum, 16 gold, 21 silver and 93 copper. And we have got ourselves some mushroom seeds as well, which I've gone through the mushroom biomes myself, destroyed all of the little things that you get in there that grow, and managed to get some mushroom seeds. So I've already started planting them, and I think it'd be a really good idea to start planting them uh, in the mush mud that we've got so we can get the truffle. And I'm going to plant... plant? I'm going to put down um, the table and chair as well. So you can move in there with ease, with no problems. But uh, to start off with, we've got to get it all sorted. Um, glow mushroom. Okay, so the glow mushrooms are, are actually growing in here already. So that's a good sign. I forgot how much mushrooms uh, you need to be able to make it a full mushroom biome. But I do know it spreads itself. And I don't know if we need backgrounds or anything. Let's just uh, Let's just double check on that. Uh, this is not valid housing, so we may need to get some backgrounds in there. And once we've got the backgrounds in there, it should say it's valid housing, possibly. Um, down here, you need a what? Table, table and chairs. Yeah, I know I need the table and chairs. And then we can go and do what this episode is called. Defeating a cannon mechanical boss. So our first mech boss hopefully will destroy the destroyer. And it is already night time, so it might be a wise idea to do it now. But it also might not be. And it might be wise to s wait until it, it's night time again. But I'm not sure how long it's been till night time, actually. So that's probably the first thing I'm going to do. Let's check where the moon is. And is it over us? I cannot see it at all. So that, that means it might be almost morning, I'm guessing. Or maybe it's just here night time. I'm not sure. I am not. We need to get a clock on that. So we can full on see what we are doing, but let's craft it anyway. Uh, we've only got enough for one, so it might be a wise idea to wait, but I don't know. Shall we wait or shall we not? Because it doesn't actually look like it's going to change anytime soon. I think we should wait mm. I don't know. I don't know what the time is, but I'm going to finish off this house. I was going to just do it, but it looks like it is actually lightening up a little bit. So it might turn back into daytime, which is not what we want. Because if we're halfway through it, that would be really bad. So we're going to go finish this house off now uh, with the table and chairs. And we need to get some background walls. So maybe the disc walls will be good. I've got the mechanical worm there. So the disc walls will be good uh, to fill it out. Hopefully it's big enough. I think it's big enough. It should be. I think it might. If it's not big enough anyway. I'm pretty sure we can sort that out, no problem. Um, uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up and ten across. This house in yeah, yeah, it's big enough. I, th I knew it was big enough. I just uh, 
didn't know whether it was valid housing. Well, yeah, big enough, really. But, yeah, I already knew it was sort of big enough anyway. So we need to go and get the table and chairs now. Oh, the vitamins, yeah, they're, they're the pretty cool drop. Uh, but, yeah, you can get lots of stuff out of that trap. It's a really effective trap uh, at the most. And we need the table and chairs. I know I've got some somewhere uh, around here. So we've got a Skyware table. That'll make it really, really different, I guess. Um, and we'll go for some other chair, which I'm trying to find a decent chair. But I don't know. I think I've got some down here. Possibly. Just see all the different <laughs> materials. I really need to sort this out so I know where things are. Like building materials, building my supplies, stuff like that. I know I've got, I've got another bees ore up here as well. <laughs> I've been getting tons of bees ores. Like, that farm is just so effective. You can get key molds, bees ores. You can get all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, I might just have to craft a, a chair, but I'm pretty sure I should have one. Should we use the, yeah, let, let's use the lizard chair because this is a lizard chair would be pretty cool, I guess. And if we find any more chairs, I'll use different chairs, but... For now, I think the lizard chair would be worth waiting. And I think it might have been a good idea to destroy the destroyer. Because now we've got to wait a whole ten minutes or so for it to turn night time. Which is going to take ages, to be honest. Uh, is that... So this house is suitable now. Bit random, I know. But hopefully the truffle moves in after we've defeated some more of the bosses and stuff. And I don't know. Uh, he, oh, there we go. It is lighting up. We, it probably would have been enough time to kill the destroyer because it's literally just lighting up now. Um, while we're waiting, I guess what we can do is see if we can get some more souls of night. Because if we can get more souls of night uh, and souls of light, it means we can do this. But before I do that, actually, I need to go and reforge. Oh, and also, you might be wondering where the hell I've got this mask and robe from. So I opened up a new world. And I wanted Crimson in it because I want to destroy the brain of Cthulhu soon on an episode. And I opened it up and luckily it had Crimson on it. Uh, I'll be showing you it next episode. I've been around the whole map and stuff. Searched around. Got a few random things like this and these ropes. Just to stall from it. And yeah, I, th I think it's a really cool idea to do that. We have a banner here. And I actually managed to get some more banners from it. We've already got a, t a lot of toxic sludge banners up though. Uh, so that might not be the best to have up, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's go to what the, the, the NPC that I want to go to. Uh, we want to reforge, basically, and I want to get a better mystical sword. So it's going to take me quite a few attempts to try and get this. Maybe not. <laughs> Four reforges, and I got a legendary mythical sword, 49 melee damage, 15 plus ma uh, damage and 12 speed, 5 critical, you know, the normal. And uh, let's try our murderous slime staff. Mythical slime, two, two reforges, wow, so we've got ourselves a mythical slime staff, a legendary mythical sword, we've not even gone through, we've not even gone through our, our platinum, wow, well, we've got 98 gold, pretty much not gone through our platinum yet, <laughs> we are getting really lucky today, so demonic mithril pickaxe, sluggish, hurtful, savage, Ah, oh, it looks like the pickaxe is going to let me down, no, large, unpleasant, deadly, lazy, demonic, Bulky, I'm gonna... Godly, I'm gonna keep it godly. Uh, unhappy Ponehammer, sharp, quick, broken, quick, annoying, terrible, <laughs> tiny, large, keen. Ah, oh, these, you could go on forever. This is superior. I'm gonna do it a few more times because I've not got that much gold left. I'm running out of gold now. Come on, just give me something decent. De we'll stick with the dangerous one. And obviously, we've got our Unreal Uzi and Mythical Book of Schools. So, we've, we've all decked out now. Ready for some mechanical bosses. But, like I say, let's go see if we can get some more souls before we kill this boss. Because it'll be a really cool thing to do. To have more, just in case we die through it. But I know we're going to get more than one chance to do this. Because if we spawn it near spawn, it basically means you have as many times as you want. But I'm going to try not to die because that's a really good objective to do. To try not to die. The Mithril Sword is awesome. It's like, Look, wow. There's an ice golem. Ooh, an ice golem. They only spawn when it rains. So we've got to get ourselves a piece of frost armor here. Why the hell is it spawning there? Right, let's see if we can kill it. 
very easily. I'm guessing we probably can kill it pretty easy. They've got a lot of health. Look at that. We're taking it down, though. See, Let's see how good this is against it. This is decent. And we've got ourselves frost leggings. So, obviously, on the PC version, you get the frost bits. I forgot what they are that you get. But you get frost shards, I think they are. Um, or something like that. And you have to get as many as you need to make the armor. But on the Xbox, we're luckily enough to just get the armor as a drop. Which is really awesome, to be honest. I think I really like that. Uh, we get it pretty easy, so we don't have to go through all the farming of them. But I've noticed they don't spawn as frequently, so I guess that's a downside. But, yeah. Yeah, it has to, has to be a blizzard, and then it has to spawn in. But, apart from that, I guess that's what we've got. If you've got any more drops yet, I've not even been watching your... Oh, you got a blindfold. Nice. The blindfold's really good. I've not been... you got Petri Dish as well. So that that's pretty awesome. And we got some really, really cool things here. It's just a really good trap. I'd advise you to do it. It just takes a long while. To do that trap, it took me three hours to fully get it functioning. I had to clear out a lot of places. And also, I was dying a lot, like I said. It just took me so long. So we can get Souls of Light from here. I think that'll be a good thing to do. I wonder if the meteorite heads drop Souls of Light. That'll be interesting to see if they do. I don't think they do. Uh, right next to that, we've got the corruption biome. So that was a quick change in backgrounds there. From light to dark. And we need to go to the underground corruption. So that we can, well, yeah, get Souls of Night. But it's not going to be worth going this side. I think I need to go a few more down for it to even count. Really. Wow, that sword really is really worth doing. Wow. It was really worth reforging it. And it only cost me three reforges or four reforges, was it? To get the legendary sword. Wow, that's that's pretty epic. That's pretty epic. Um, we, we can't go down this one, really. Uh, we need to go back up here. I do need to put some torches down. Every episode, I forgot to put torches down because it's just... I don't know. I just don't put torches down. It's just not me. <laughs> I don't even know why I don't put torches down. It would make it so much easier if I did. So, yeah. I'm going to do that. Oh, I just accidentally took a potion, which I wasn't meant to. Collected 37 gold coins. 37 gold coins. That is just what we've been on doing this. So, that's been like, what? Probably about 20, 30 minutes. And we've got 27 gold coins. So that's like... 37 gold coins, sorry. It's an immense amount. That's that's really high amount, to be honest. 37. Well, like I say, I left it on for a few hours. And I got I got one platinum and a bit out of it. it might be more, actually. Because I've got some in my piggy bank um, as well. Only, only a little bit, though. Not, not too much in my piggy bank. I've got the cursed flames. We could make the... Uh, Cursed book thing. I forgot what it's called. But we can make the book of flames, is it? Cursed book of cursed flames. Really good book. I think it is 37 damage. Something something along those lines, anyway. Um, there's loads of paladinium on this map. Like, tons of it. Absolutely loads. It's a wonder. There is just so many on a map. It just makes no sense. I wonder how long it is till day to, uh, night time. Because it's just hit daytime. Wow, this pickaxe mine's so slow. I expected it to mine a bit faster, but I guess it's because it's the um, corruption and stuff. But what one did I uh, end up with in the end? A godly one. So the godly one should be decent, to be honest. But like I say, it's, it is hard mode stuff, and this is one of the easier pickaxes you can get to mine this stuff. So, yeah. I guess that's probably why I'm getting absolutely shrecked right now. Whoa, it's crazy. But yeah, um, we need to actually bin something. There we are. To get the paladinium, because that was pretty pretty much a waste if, if I didn't pick it up. I'm going to go home now. And I think it's literally only just hitting daytime. So we're going to have to wait a long time for it to be nighttime. Ah, uh, um, I don't know. That sucks. Let's go see if we can get some souls of flight just before we do this. Um, I might actually make a, tr not trap, but um, a boss fight arena. I don't know. I might do while I'm waiting because that might be a good 
thing just, just to do while I'm waiting, like I say. Kill it with my pwn hammer. Look at this. Bang! Got some feathers from it. It's decent. Not, not really good though, to be honest. Feathers, feathers are okay. Just, just not the best. Oh, gonna get up there. Oh, you got a precise bezoar. You got another bezoar. See, you see how simple and effective that trap is? It's just amazing. Like, we got we got seven or eight bezoars now. It's just an immense amount. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's just crazy. We've got all these key mods as well, ready for when we get Plantera and, if, and get the uh, jungle key. And oh, It's just going to be epic. And uh, hopefully we can get some more key mods. It'll be really cool to do. But is it hitting night time or is it just hitting daytime? I can't really tell. From the background, it looks like it's turning night time. But I can't really tell, to be honest. Um... We need to go get some platforms anyway, so let's go and do that. Uh, let's see what we got. Got any platforms here? I don't think we actually have many platforms, to be honest. There was 10 there, but 10's not really going to be enough. We need, like, maybe a couple of hundred or something. Maybe a hundred or two hundred to make a decent one. Um, but yeah, we're just going to leave that because, I don't know. We do want, I do really want the truffle though, that'd be a really awesome NPC. Has someone moved into his house? Yeah. Uh, show room flags. No, Lorenzo's just chilling in here. <laughs> He's just, just, just taking a chill in the, um, Mushroom's house. <laughs> wow, just sitting there. And, yeah, so you can see our banner collection is increasing a lot. I'm going to give the shouts for today. I've already put them in. So today's shout-outs go to Jack Games, which is obviously my brother, Torn Apart, which has been doing a lot of item giveaways, along with GBay Gaming, another one of my great friends that have been doing giveaways. They have been working really hard, and I've actually saw what they've been giving away. They've been helping tons of people, and I'm sure you guys appreciate them and understand why they are on this wall. So next time, I have some really good shout-outs too, so stay tuned for that. Uh, you might just get a shower, guys, because I'm giving three of you a shower next time. And it's just going to be three random people that I think has been, you know, commenting and all that cool stuff. And keeping in track with my videos. So, that would be really awesome to see who gets on there. So, it would be really cool uh, to see your reactions as well. Uh, because the YouTube brothers liked it. And I think it's almost night time now, so we're going to... Spawn this soon. Like I said, I'm going to spawn in your home. I don't plan on dying, but you can never not know that you're going to die or that you're going to live. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, I do need to make a farm for this. Uh, not farm, a boss fine arena for this, really, in the future. Because when I come to kill the twins and stuff, I need platforms and to go up and down. But the destroyer is not really too much of a bad one to be to killing. And, you know... Is going to be hard, but I don't think he's going to be too hard compared to the other bosses. And obviously, he lets off his probes. And those probes will give you heart, so they'll be quite easy to kill. I'm going to see if I can spawn it in. Not just yet. And before you start, you should put all your gold in your Yeah, I probably should do that, but I've only got four gold anyway, so it doesn't really. I'm not really too fussed on to. Hey, the destroyer has awoken! Here we are. Look at that. So Jack's coming to help me uh, kill him as well. To be honest, I don't think he's going to be too hard, like I say. Uh, this book of schools can go straight through him and take a ton of damage off him. So that's going to be good in that sense. But yeah, so we, we need to kill more of those probes. We, you need to get out of the house because the NPCs are actually getting killed. Because they're going for you as well. Yeah, everything's getting slain. Y you need to get out of the house as fast as possible. Because um, everything's going to be, yep, everything's being slain. Literally everything. Wow. I've been absolutely torn apart by that. Ooh, I look. It's because I can't, the split, so I hate, I hate split screen as well. That just makes it really harder. Uh, for me, anyway, I can't see much. Um, but wow, look at that. He is absolutely destroying. But, he, you know, I think we've got a fair chance against him. Not, not, not really a, a good chance, but I think we've got a fair chance. Here we go. I died against. That's two deaths so far. Wow. We might not even be able to kill this dude without dying a million hundred times. So we got, we got a um, 
Uzi, which is actually doing us some good. There we are, yes. The Uzi is actually doing really good damage to it. Obviously, it's not the strongest, but we've got it down to about half of its life. But lost all of our NPCs in the process. I've been slain. <laughs> wow. This is a pretty hard boss. Um, I expected this, to be honest. I, I expected to die about ten times, so I've died three times. And hopefully, I don't go through. That's four times. Wow, we're going to have so many um, <laughs> death, death gravestones around the map. Yeah, that's going to be wow. Wow. See, when Stamp when I was watching Stampy did it, he used his um uh weather thing. I forgot what it's called. The cloud. The Nimbus Rod, I think it is. The Nimbus Rod, which summons a cloud, which is really, really good. Alright, I've run out of um magic. Let's kill some of these probes. Nope. That's six deaths now. And counting. <laughs> can't be can't be that much more. Come on. I'm gonna kill it. I'm really bad at this. I should really have been prepared, but... Alright, everything's been slain. We need to sort of move away from the house a little bit so everything don't be slain. Oh, I've run out of bullets, so I'm going to jump up. Oh, he's, he's got three quarters of his life gone now, so... Wow, he, he's taking us down. He has a lot of life, doesn't he? Yeah. But I'm so glad to have spawned it near the house so we can keep killing it. Because it would have been sad for it to just disappear like that. And uh, yeah, wow, that's eight deaths. I've almost got done my 10 deaths. Wow. I need to wait for my uh, mana to get back a little bit so I can fire some of these. Ooh. Ooh. The, the, the book of schools just goes straight through it. It's really good because it attacks all of it. Uh, all right. He's, he's got me. Yeah, this was not a good idea to do without a, a uh, boss fighting arena. We're going to have to do some cleaning up after this for sure. Can't be damaged life now. Come on, we're doing well. At least we're all nearly dead, he's nearly dead. Come on, we've almost killed him. He's so close. Oh my god. We're going to do more Book of Schools. See if we can finish him off that way. Nope. Okay. I've died a ton of times now. Like, <laughs> this is just immense. Oh, I've died again. Wow, this split screen is horrible. Like, it, you cannot move. The screen much or anything. Normally on a single player you can move around a bit more. And have a bit more freedom of the screen. But wow. Split screen makes it so difficult to do I guess. Um, in that way. We've both died. It took us out. Wow. But yeah this is probably the best way to do it. Just to keep spawning, attacking, spawning, attacking. And eventually we will kill it. Hopefully, don't de. I don't. There we go. The destroyer is defeated. Where did it drop all of its loot? So we got the achievement there uh, for destroying the destroyer. We rode the worm. We have killed the destroyer. But where is his drops? We have got a lot of gravestones. All right. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to break through the house, but it's not too bad because we lost every single one of our NPCs anyway, and um, I'm sure they won't mind moving back in after. Right, here we go. So, let's see what we've got from it today. Uh, I've got a full inventory, but let's clear some stuff. No, 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 no. So, what we got was Souls of Might. Nothing nothing too bad. We need to pick those up before it turns daytime. Uh, we're going to fill this back in with mud. You're going to fill it back in with mud because you've picked up all the mud. Yeah, fill it all back in uh, from here. Start here, then fill it all up, then just put the two wood bits there. But we should get all the NPCs, no problem. <laughs> the clothier left his hat. We got we got the clothier's hat. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's one good thing, I guess. Uh, one bonus what we got. We actually got the clothier's hat now. So that's a bonus. and uh, Not really a good one, but eh, it's better than nothing, if I do say so. That's just insane. Maybe we should could have, could have come a bit more prepared, but... I don't, I don't really mind as long as we killed it before daytime. That, that's what matters. So, wow. Uh, I can't even pick them all up. We had three and th three is six. Six and four is ten. Fifteen. Twenty-one. We had twenty-one deaths between us. And twenty-two because you had one as well. So that is twenty-two total deaths. So between us, that's an average of eleven deaths. Not too bad. To be honest, that is, it seems like a lot, but when you 
not really got the best of gears or really come prepared is something, I guess, okay. We lost all of our NPCs, though, which sucks, but all those should spawn back. One good thing we did is get Red Hat, so the Red Hat's really cool. Uh, we could have killed it ourselves and got Skeletron to spawn in as well, but uh, it's, it's nothing, nothing much and nothing special, to be honest. It's just another Skeletron, which... Won't be very much of a challenge, to be honest, so, yeah. But anyway, guys, that has been Terraria Xbox One Edition Part 20. We killed a destroyer and did a few other things. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please do not subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.